friends today i'll be reading you two other stories from more stories of panchatantra the snake and the foolish frogs there was an there was a snake who was weak with old age he could no longer hunt for frogs and rats for his food as he used to if i don't find a way soon i'll surely starve to death just then he saw a group of young frogs playing near a pond they were uh, led by the prince of frogs the old snake suddenly had an idea when the curious frogs came closer he spoke to them gently do not fear i stopped hunting frogs i am here to serve you the prince of frogs took the snake to his parents the king and queen frogs decided to make the old snake their royal mount the cunning snake allowed the king queen and prince of frogs to ride on his back we this is fun go faster o oh snake but soon the royal frogs realized that the snake moved too slowly they, they called the snake and asked him why he could not move swiftly like the other snakes i had promised i had not i have not eaten for many days i made a promise not to hunt frogs any more the next day the frog king summoned all the frogs together and made a proclamation that each day two frogs should go to the snake as his food yes, at last my plan succeeds just in just a few days the snake had eaten many frogs in the pond he was now strong and swift again the one then one day the only the three royal frogs remained he turned on them with a wicked hiss yes, foolish frogs i have eaten up all your subjects now you are my prey moral do good to the villain and he'll do evil to you the crow and the jackal once a crow saw an old brahman eating some bread the crow was very hungry when the brahman was looking away she quickly snatched a piece of bread and flew away with it shoo get away from my food The hungry crow flew away to a tree in the woods nearby and sat down to eat the tasty piece of bread. I'm so hungry. This bread will taste good. Just then, a jackal came up from behind. He saw the crow sitting on the tree with the bread in her beak. The the jackal was a very cunning and greedy animal. He wanted to have the bread. Mmm, that bread looks so tasty. The cunning jackal wanted to take the bread away from the crow and eat it himself. He thought of a He thought fast and came up with a plan. He went over to the crow and started praising her. "Oh beautiful bird, are you new to the woods? I have never seen another bird as pretty as you." At first, the crow ignored the jackal. She knew that the jackal was a cunning animal, but the jackal did not give up. He praised her even more. "Not only are your feathers brightly colored, you also have that quiet beauty." After a while, the crow began to feel flattered. She had never heard so many nice things being said about her. She even started believing the, word, the jackal's words. I'm sure a bird as pretty as you can sing well too. The crow listened to the jackal's words of flattery and started to believe that she could sing. She decided to sing. Just as she opened her beak to sing, the bread from, fell from her beak, only to be snapped up by the cunning jackal. Ah! It was only then that the poor crow realized that she had been tricked by the cunning jackal. As she looked helplessly, the jackal mocked her and went away with a piece of bread. Alas. If only I had not been carried away by flattery moral flattery is the weapon of the cunning